Hitler's invasion of Poland had shocked the European world. England and France were alarmed at the sudden takeover. However, it was partly their fault in allowing Germany to launch this invasion. The dictator of Germany, Adolf Hitler, knew that an assault on Poland would send the Soviets into thinking that they were next. If that happened, then the Soviets would attack Germany. Before the invasion, the Soviet Union sought an agreement between the Western powers, namely England, France, and Poland. England and France did not respond to this agreement, and Poland outright rejected it. So Hitler, fearing the consequences of his assault, immediately formed a pact with the Soviets. Now Hitler could start his campaign without a fear of retaliation from Poland's behemoth neighbor. The style of Hitler's assault on Poland was that of a blitzkrieg. Blitzkrieg means lightning war in German, and Hitler's invasion was exactly that. The attack consisted of aerial bombings of buildings, towns, and roads. The bombings crippled Poland's transportation and made it extremely difficult for Polish people to escape the country. German fighter planes continued to bombard key points in the country, bringing down scores of Polish resistance. This virtual hell continued for 18 days until both Germany and the Soviets, due to the secret pact, had all but cornered the remaining Polish army. Poland had fallen. However, this did not mean that the war was finished. For once, Britain and France were speechless. It is largely due to both countries' inaction that Hitler was able to gain so much land and victory. But both countries realized that if nothing happened, Hitler would conquer Europe. Hitler came terrifyingly close to this prospect, and on April 9th, 1940, the dictator of Germany shifted his focus away from Poland and onto Denmark and Norway. On May 10, 1940, the Low Countries, the Netherlands, Luxembourg and Belgium, fell to the Nazis. The Soviets managed to bring down the Baltic states in June 1940, while Italy joined the war on June 10. France put up a brave fight but was quickly overwhelmed by German forces. They signed a deal with the Germans, stating that they could occupy northern France and that the South would be a co-controlled regime. Despite German occupation, however, France would later continue to see guerrilla warfare between the Nazis and the French resistance, aided by the Americans. Nearly every country in Europe had been annexed or conquered by Hitler. However, one remained, Britain. On September 7, 1940, German bombers flew over the vast city of London. The bombers reused the tactic they employed in the invasion of Poland. Essentially, they bombarded factories, roads, and military bases in what became known as the London Blitz. The attack crippled England, but did not bring the country down. The Prime Minister, Winston Churchill, urged the people of London to continue with their daily lives. He is also credited with the quote, This is the lesson. Never give in. Never give in. Never, 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 never. In nothing, great or small, large or petty. Never give in, except to convictions of honour and good sense. Never yield to force, never yield to the apparently overwhelming might of the enemy. Ultimately, Hitler was never able to invade and much less conquer Britain, due to their unending resolve, discipline and coordination. One event, though, would take place on the other side of the world and bring to the battlefield a certain country that had remained silent thus far. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, I would really appreciate it. If you have any feedback for me or suggestions for the next video, leave them in the comment section below. And lastly, you can always subscribe. Thanks for watching.